What's going on, Fragrance family? It's your man Gator, better known as the Novice Nose out here in these fragrance streets. And man, it feels like I haven't put out much content recently. Guys, I missed you guys, man. It's been a minute, actually, since I've done anything since the accident here. I've been recording like little things here and there, and uh, I have, I think I did a couple of Sin of the Days and stuff like that, but it hasn't been uh, as regular because, you know, you know, when you're out of that comfort zone, uh, you're doing things different, you know, having to, you know, it's, it's, it's weird, right? Life be life, right? But um, hopefully get the sense of normalcy back here soon so we can get back into these fragrances and me, you know, showing you my uh, face every day on the <laughs> scent of the days, man. Uh, speaking of scent of the days, uh, one of the things that I noticed is that a lot of people would see a lot of the scents that I would have out there and have questions about those particular fragrances. Uh, Royal Blend actually was one of those. I just released a uh, video on that one last week uh, because people were asking about it. Like they wanted to know about the wearing experience. Uh, the fragrance I'm talking about today is a very similar scenario to that. So this particular fragrance, when it popped up on my uh, scent of the day, I had a a lot of people asking about it. This fragrance is from Rasasi. It's called Rasasi Fatan. And I think it's kind of slim there, so you can barely make out the uh, the uh, words here. I think I changed the color grading a little bit there so you can see it. Now, if you saw that set of the day uh, post here, this fragrance is inspired by very popular fragrance in the fragrance community, Terre de Mez. So this particular fragrance uh, dropped a couple of years ago. People were super, ex well actually I'd say maybe, um, maybe about a year or so ago. People got super excited about it uh, for like a blink of an eye. And then all of a sudden it just went completely silent, radio silent about this particular fragrance. And I think it was because I think they were having some stocking issues or some stuff like that. So it was hard to find for a while. Now, that being said, it's not necessarily hard to find now. Um, it does sell out quite frequently, but um, it's readily available at most discounters and even on Amazon right now you can find this and it's not very expensive it's at that twenty dollar price point uh on discounters and on amazon you can find it around that that twenty dollar or so price point for this particular fragrance it is more than worth that twenty dollars this is a hidden gem right now in the fragrance community here um this is a beautiful wear and i'm actually gonna put it on a strip here um as you can see atomizers okay nothing to write home about uh but it's okay so let me get into the uh notes on this particular fragrance so the uh the top notes on this particular fragrance are grapefruit bergamot and pink pepper uh the middle notes are vetiver cedar patchouli and lily of the valley and then the base notes are oak moss benzoin and amber so all of those fragrances again play a big way in the the uh play a big uh, part in the way that this uh, fragrance presents itself. So in the opening of this particular fragrance, you do get a little bit of that citric harshness uh, when you first spray it on here. And that's kind of like the OG, to be completely honest. You get a little bit of that citric harshness when it first kind of sprays on a little bit of a um, synthetic-ish, metallic, ish type of uh vibe to it but it's just a good bit of that rindiness from the citrus so it stays true to the og in that sense um this one is a little bit lower quality so it's a little bit more synthetic to the nose initially but that goes away really really quickly so i want to say that one of the things that people talk about when they talk about the original Terre de Mez, uh, and one of the things that might make this fragrance a little bit better um, or a little bit more palatable for some people than even the original Terre de Mez, um, is the lack of a specific note. And you heard me read the note breakdown, which you didn't hear most likely is one of the notes that Terre de Mez is known for. And that's that flint note. Now, some people um, kind of describe it as almost like a burnt rock type of scenario, like a sparking type of rock. 
scenario when you smell it um and they they're able to pick it up in the fragrance that black pepper that the original has accentuates it so it gives it kind of almost a peppery type of of, of burnt rock type of smell now I don't describe it technically as burnt rock. I, I think it's blended really well into the essence of that particular fragrance. But some people, it is super off-putting. And there's a lot of people who are completely turned off by the fragrance as a whole because of that note. Well, this fragrance, as you saw me read a little while ago, does not have that harsh uh, flint note in there, that off-putting flint note. It doesn't even have the black pepper uh, note. It has a pink pepper in this, so it's a little bit softer. So as you go into the app, right after that citric, that harsh citricness that you get at the top, um, it kind of goes into a softer spiciness uh, than you would find in the OG. And I think a lot of people will find this a lot more palatable um, on the initial wear than they will on the um, OG fragrance that it's cloning or that it's inspired by but after that 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 initial um that initial blast and then you've got you know a little bit of spiciness from that pepper congruently with that you're you're sitting on top of a vetiver bomb and that's exactly what happens you're getting a buttload of vetiver just like the original you get a buttload of that vetiver you're getting the woods in there um it's 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 a beautiful thing to have those things married together because it comes across as really earthy um i think it's got a patchouli note in there as well it comes across as really earthy it doesn't have all of that like i said that that flint note so it actually i feel is a more palatable entry into that earthiness that you would get from than original OG Terre de Mez. Um, I find this to be a lot smoother uh, after that as well. So you're getting that, that, that vetiver bomb, you're getting a good bit of earthiness in here and a great bit of that, that citric rindiness. Um, like I said, it's got like the best qualities of the OG and minus that off-putting uh, flint note that people complain about so much. Now, it does have that amberiness and that resinous that goes into uh, that dry down as well. But what you're getting there is kind of almost like a balance between that citricness and earthiness. It's almost like some Something that's kind of stirred in there to kind of you know tone it down a little bit and smooth it out and it's a beautiful thing uh, when it's in motion here uh, speaking of motion we're talking about projection on this thing to be somewhere in the range of about arm's length uh, you know, at least for the first uh, three to four hours on this particular fragrance here. This is actually one that wafts. It's one of those that, that comes up and, and people can smell it. You get a nice little scent bubble around you for the first few hours that you're wearing this particular fragrance. On skin, it lasts up somewhere in the range of about eight hours or so. So it's really on par with the OG when it comes to performance go, you know, performance. Um, as far as the sillage of course beautiful sillage it sits in the air this is one that if you walk in a room you walk out of that room if people walk in the room right after you they'll smell you so it has a great sillage as far as longevity again eight hours it does at the end of the the fragrance around that hour seven or eight it does kind of hug your your skin a little bit more but i mean if you're walking by somebody they're still picking it up off of you so it performs really well it performs right on par with the og to be completely honest i don't know why you would even go with the og terre de mez with this particular fragrance does it smell exactly like terre de mez no because it doesn't have the 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 black pepper uh doesn't have that flint note so there is a little bit of a differentiation in the mid and in the dry down but it gives you the essence of terre de mez no i wouldn't say that it's quite as unique as terre de mez but it has all of the the wearability of that particular fragrance it has the things that you like and some people love about terre de mez all of it's in here except for that flint note so if you love that flint note this ain't the fragrance for you but if you're looking for something that's going to get you in that tear de mez wheelhouse and i mean really really close to the og this might be the guy for you and as far as the 
price point and the value I mean, like I said, 20 something dollars. This is a fifth of what you'd be paying for the OG. It performs just as long as the OG does. And I think more people actually will find this more pleasant. I mean, this isn't, I get more compliments on this one. I've gotten more compliments on this particular fragrance and wearing than I have when I wore the OG. So that's saying a lot. This might be the guy that you want to invest in if you're looking for something that's going to get you in that Terre de Mez warehouse. As far as times you can wear it, I mean, this is an all season type of fragrance. I wouldn't say you want to wear this in the cold of winter, but it's definitely a spring fragrance. And this is actually a mid fall type of fragrance as well. This is going to sit beautifully on a crisp day, man. If you're going to the football game or something like that and you get a little breeze blowing, this carries so well in the air. I think this is going to be magnificent for people who are at outside events and, you know, are moving around a good bit. I think this is one that you'll use as a go-to it's a dumb reach for me i think it's going to be a great value for anybody that picks this one up that's all i got for it today man what do you think have you got your nose on this one before let me know in the comments man and of course as always like the video subscribe to the channel and of course share this content here with someone you know that loves fragrances man that's all i got for you guys today peace out